okay, this uh, YouTube is on how to build and deploy robot code in Ruble Real. First of all, is, so we're going to start with a, a program that's already been built, or already been uh, developed. First of all, you really that code because you in the Robo Rio from from this screen from this uh, project as long as you've targeted um, the physical robot. So for instance, let's say I start with this project. And I've completed all the changes that I want to make in my team code from robot main and my driver station. Uh, things work very similar to they do when we're using the simulator. Walk through these steps real quickly. You need to have the driver station open and uh, obviously the dashboard. And at the time you're doing this, you need to have either have a tethered code to um, make sure you have communications or the Wi-Fi connected to make sure you have communications, but you cannot download any code until you have communications with the RoboRio. Now, we're going to open up Robot Main. Now, again, this is how you run and it sounds like you've been doing this already. Um, all you have to do is click on run and the code that's in, in this project will then be on the Robo Rio and running. And that's, that's how you want to do it. Um, now, just because you asked, and I'm, I'm saying this this way because I don't want to advise you going through this step for a number of reasons, the least of all, the time it takes to do it. But once you've got your code debugged and, and you're happy with the way it runs, then you come back to build specifications in my Project Explorer. You go right click. And what you want to build is a new real-time application. So if you, the only reason for saying new is to give it a name. And at this point, you want to have a specific name that you can keep separate from the others. And I might call this Jim's, Jim's First Run. And don't change anything else. When you click, well, take it back. Under Source Files, you want to robot main and include that in the startup. And click OK. Then, again, I right click on that uh, project we just created, or the name we just created. At this point, you can deploy it, in which case it will build. Um, or you can run a startup, in which case it's going to build it and deploy it so that it's in the flash. And on all this, you got to make sure you have solid communications, but at that point, you know, you're ready to go. So once you turn on the Robo Rio, the code will be running. All right, that's, that's all there is to it. Um, again, I, I recommend not going through this until you have code that runs fine uh, from this point, because if you just launch it here, and you have the robo reel connected, it's going to be running on the robo reel. The whole business about deploying is a minor shade of difference as far as the uh, what's working and what's not. So if you have a wireless link, you're better off just running this rather than deploying it until you know you've got things solid. All right, email me if you got any questions. Hope this made sense.